you, Coach. Good. How we doing? Uh, good, enthusiastic practice. Guys had energy in practice. Uh, happy with what they're doing, where they're going. Got to keep getting better. Work on this game plan. These guys, they're, they're, they would, they're do what they do, and they do it really well. This is a good football team. So we got to get better and uh, keep playing better and be ready to play this weekend. Questions? Marcus Walker said there when James had a little Tom Smith to him the other day in terms of being vocal. Uh, that not too far fetched. Well, I mean, we'll see when he goes in. But he is that personality. He has a natural leadership about him, and he's a very vocal guy, and he has fun. And the guys know he plays hard, knows what he's doing, so it's natural for him to lead, and he doesn't mind it. Chad Mavetti's missed the last two days. Six. Hold on. Hey, with Reggie, shoulder. What was it? The shoulder. Or yeah, bro. He'll be. He'll be all right. We're just keeping him out of contact for a couple of days. He fell. And he on, on the play on the sideline. He fell on it over there. Finished the game with it. Did everything. Just we're just keeping him out for a couple of days. Is there any temptation playing a small school to rest some guys? That shoot, no. If you watch this team. I mean, this. I mean, you remember Georgia Southerns, App States. This is the same. This team is a top ten team in the country, and are used to winning. This team is a really good team. I mean, we need to go play well. We have to play well. What do they do well? Win, play football, sound, coach well, fundamentals, leverage on the ball and defense, offensively. Very a lot of eye violation. That quarterback can run it. They throw it. The back can run it. I mean, this is. I mean, this team is national semifinals, quarterfinals. Fine. I mean, this team is one along. They're used to win it. This is a really, really well coached team and a talented football team. They had two of their D linemen drafted last year. I mean, this is a good team. Do you think the perception of playing FCS teams has changed ever since those App State Georgia Southern games? But they've been there before that, though. I mean, look at Jacksonville State. I mean, they about took Auburn to the wire. I mean, they're number one in that. I mean, Almost that's been going on for a while. It's been, those those happen more often. I mean, those are the recent ones, but those have happened for long for a long time now. And uh, you better when you go play those guys. I mean, they, I've been in that league. We had some great teams. I mean, those, those guys are a lot of good football players in there. They're hungry. Have you got more consistency at practice after an evening yes. starter? No, I don't. Know about name of the star. We've been been more consistent the last two or three weeks in practice. I've been more pleased with their consistency. Getting better, but still not there. We're getting better. Is Reggie going to play on Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Um, with all the NFL scouts over here today, did you sense an extra little spunk brought by the players? No, they're used to them. I mean, that's, that's, that's normal around here. Mm -hmm. What are some benefits a player gets from playing on scout team? One, toughness. One, that he's part of a team that ain't all about him. Three, the respect of the guys on the other side of the ball that aren't used to being on the side of the ball with him all the time because when they're over there seeing him perform and say, you know, when this guy gets over here, I'm glad he's going to be playing. This guy can lead. He can do this. He can play. He can catch, run, block, tackle, cover. I mean, whatever it is. And you get a great respect. And I think – and it's kind of drifted from the way it used to be. I wish guys had to go do a full year all the time. And I think it humbles you in the fact that you're part of something bigger than you. And you got to you got to grind through some things. you got to take those upperclassmen beat on you a little bit and hit you around and – I just think it's a it's a natural process that I wish everyone had to go through. We're just in a day and time now. It's not like that anymore. Uh, you mentioned DeAndre Francois, spoken highly of him, other players. Are there any other guys on the scout team right now you can think of off the top of your head that are, that are flashing at Yeah, some of those young D linemen we got over here. Some of the, uh, I'm trying to think, some of those old linemen over there on the other side. I mean, there's quite a few guys who are doing all right. We're just banged up right now. We're having to pull them all off. <laughs> Come to practice. Jimbo, this was a big senior class, but it, did, it was impactful. It, it, incredibly impactful. And they did a great job, and a lot of those guys that uh, haven't had huge roles in the past have grown into them and really accepted them and been a big part of why we're successful right now. This class has done a really nice job. Where would you say this, this class ranks among the others? Well, I mean, this, it's, it's on the all-time great. I mean, this time it has a chance to tie the record for most wins in a in a four-year span, and it, had, and it has two more. I mean, it's got three chances to win two games. If two breaks it, one ties it. I mean, the all-time most wins by a senior class in Florida State history. So I say it's pretty special. Do you think those older defensive players have kind of embarked a little wisdom on the younger guys? Oh, no doubt. I mean, and how to do things and the expectancy and the, way, the culture of how we do it and you know, not wavering about it because they just go to work every day. Sean, I imagine he's been pretty steady all season, but knowing he's a starter going into the week, any kind of difference with him at all? No. Uh, hopefully. I hope not. I mean, but I hope he just continues to improve and, and get better. He had a solid day today. Are we good?